Good evening and welcome to RTD's English News Edition Tickle Cover Major Stories. This morning took for a workshop on the review of the World Bank's portfolio. The Djiboutian Army Force will celebrate tonight the 40th anniversary of the creation, 21 days before the independence. The Army Force are the second institution after the Constitution Assembly to have seen the day exemplary for before the program of the independence. Forty years after their impose on the national scenes become over the time of discipline army to loyalty of the head of the state of the institute of the republic of contrary to the experiments that is known to africa countries the event of 6 june 1977 will take place at the ceremony to be held this evening al hajj hassan gulet abdidan stadium because of the ramadan the ceremony will be broadcasted on radio and television Our major story, the Ministry of the Economy and Finance in the office of the World Bank in Djibouti have uh, co-organized this morning at the Kempinski Palace Hotel a meeting which has allowed to review the projects funded by the institution and which affect many sectors such as water, uh, health, energy, education, justice, employment, the support to the population of rural areas and everything that concerns the improvement of database services. The indicators of development and the constraints encountered in the execution of the projects have been analyzed in the meeting it was co-chaired by the Minister of the Economy and Finance, Mr. Yes Musudwale, and the resident representative of the World Bank, Mr. Atusek. The meeting has gathered several ministerial departments with the prominent personalities such as the Minister of Justice, the Minister of National Education, the Secretary of State responsible for housing, the Minister of Agriculture, the Governor of the Central Bank of Djibouti and senior executives of the administration. The Minister of Equipment and Transport, Mohamed Abdul Qadr, has received this morning in his cabinet the Minister of Civil Avi Aviation and Air Transport, Mr. Farhan Adam of Somaliland. The Minister is in a visit of two days in Djibouti in order to strengthen the link of cooperation in the field of meteorology. The discussion has focused mainly on bilateral cooperation and the link of friendship which combine of the two countries. The Minister was accompanied by the Director of Meteorology, Mr. Rashid Ali Hadi of Somaliland. And after their meeting, uh, the Minister of Equipment and Transport, Mr. Helim, has led the Minister of uh, Air Transport, Mr. Haipe, in a visit to the Center of the Meteorology, which is located at the International Airport of Djibouti. Upon his arrival, the delegation was hosted by the Deputy Director General of the Meteorology, Mr. Abdurrahman Yunis Nur. The delegation has visited and has, has had a small meeting with the various executives of the administration. They have fully explained the functioning and modern appliance of the technology to make the system of information and prevention of the meteorology of Djibouti. Thereafter, the two ministers have together planted a tree of friendship to symbolize the friendship between the two countries. On his side, the Minister of Equipment and Transport, Mr. Mohammed Abdul Qadir Musa Helen, in an interview has indicated that the visit of his counterpart in official visit to send a memorandum between the meteorological center of the country. Djibouti will be able to help Somaliland in the field of training in the information system of meteorology. This morning, the Minister of the Habitat, Musa Mohammed Ahmed, has received in his office the Ambassador of the European Union, Mr. Adam Kulash, the Minister has discussed with the Ambassador the ways and means of strengthening the cooperation with the European Union in the areas of climate change, biodiversity and the protection of the environment in general. The Minister has also discussed with the representative of the European Union the opportunities for training and capacity building in the field of the environment and urban planning. The ambassador of Djibouti to the Republic of South Sudan, uh, Ahmed Ali Barre, was received this morning by the Minister of Agriculture of Sudan, Abdeladif Ahmed Mohammed, in a walking visit. The meeting was conducted in a climate of trust and confidence and has focused on the important topic such as bilateral relationship between the two countries. 
The forthcoming visit of the Djibouti Minister of Agriculture as well as the question related to the agricultural operation of Djibouti in Sudan. In the side of the ambassador has commanded the minister for the choice that has been focused on him by the President of the Republic to the outcome of international dialogue. He then sent a personal message to his counterpart of the Sudan Authority which respect to him the minister had indicated the total availability of the minister to welcome the ministerial delegation of Djibouti. Finally, the minister has wished success to his host in infraction and a noble mission of the Republic of Djibouti. That's all for tonight's news. Thanks for joining us in RTD and have a great evening.